guys, it's Rochelle Graham, CEO and co-founder of Allocay Naturals, and welcome to this episode of Allocay Educates. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you all about porosity. Porosity 101, classes in session, let's get started. Porosity describes how well your hair is able to absorb and retain moisture in it. The outer layer of hair, which is referred to as a cuticle, is what controls your hair's ability to absorb and retain moisture. The cuticle runs up and down your hair shaft, and I like to describe them like little flaps on a car that open and close. So what affects your hair porosity? There's a couple of different factors that can affect your hair's porosity, including styling options such as hair coloring, relaxers, chemical filled hair products, heat damage, or even exposure to just harsh environmental factors. Why is porosity important? It is important to understand your hair's porosity so that you can make an educated decision on choosing the right products for your hair health. Building a healthy hair regimen is key to healthy hair. And there are three major things that we're gonna learn about. Today is porosity. Then we'll talk about hair typing and also how to choose the right products. So understanding your hair porosity will help you to understand what products will be best to help keep your hair moisturized. Now, of course you wanna use the hair porosity knowledge and information along with understanding the lock method, which is an Allocay Naturals three-step system to keep your hair moisturized longer. To get healthy hair, we gotta get our hair moisturized. So, step one, we're gonna identify your hair porosity in today's class. We're building a system to make sure that we can keep your natural textured hair moisturized for longer. Understanding your hair's porosity will also help you to understand the challenges that you may face while trying to get your hair to be moisturized in the first place. And it will also help you to understand how to keep your hair from losing moisture too rapidly. So let's start off with how to test your hair porosity. There are two ways. Number one, you can do the float test, which I'm gonna be showing you today. And number two, you can do the slip and slide test, and I'll also be showing you that as well. Let's start with the slip and slide test. So for the slip and slide test, what you do, you don't have to actually pull your hair out for this, is to find a section of hair and identify one strand of hair. So if you run your hand up the hair shaft, if you feel a lot of bumps, it means that your cuticles are frayed and they're open, which means your hair is high porosity. If you can run your hand up and you barely feel anything at all, then it means your hair is low porosity. If you do this and just once in a while you had some bumps and stubs, then it means your hair is normal porosity, medium. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to the most popular way to test and my preferred way to test your hair's porosity. You wanna get a clear cup or container and you wanna make sure that you have room temperature water. Fill the container and let it sit momentarily. Step two is to take a strand of clean hair. Do not take a strand of hair from your head right now. The preferred method is to, when you wash your hair on your next wash day, after your hair is clean, take a strand of that freshly cleaned hair because otherwise if you're using hair that has styling products on top of it, it may already be coated and doesn't give you the exact results. So we wanna drop the hair strand in the water and make sure that it is submerged. Make sure that the hair is fully submerged in the water and then don't touch it. Leave it for two to five minutes. Now, what you're trying to observe with doing this test is see what your hair naturally does when submerged in the water. If your hair is high porosity, then your hair is going to soak the water up in the cup really quickly and it's gonna make the hair strand heavy because all that water has been soaked into the cuticle. The heavy strand of hair is then going to sink to the bottom. So if your hair goes to the bottom, then it means it's high porosity. If the strand of hair goes to the middle and stays there, then it is medium porosity because it has absorbed some water, but not a lot of water, enough to make it heavy. 
If your hair after two to four minutes floats to the top, then your hair is low porosity. That means that it's not highly porous. Your cuticles are barely opened, therefore it is extremely difficult for the water to actually get absorbed into the hair strand itself. So if your hair floats, it's low porosity. If it goes to the middle, it's medium porosity. If it goes to the bottom, then it's high porosity. So while my hair is going through the test, we will go ahead and move on. So the way that this test works is it helps you to understand how your hair actually absorbs moisture. The same way that your hair is reacting to the water and whether or not it actually absorbs it or it doesn't or it repels it is the same thing that you can expect when you are using products to try to moisturize your natural hair. So let's keep talking while my hair is going through this test. Now, let's talk about low porosity. So you do the test, you find out your hair is low porosity. Here is a con. Low porosity hair has tightly bound and closed cuticles that makes it extremely difficult to moisturize. Because the cuticles are so tightly bound and closed, it is difficult for products to be able to penetrate the hair shaft to get the moisture in the hair. Now, low porosity hair is also prone to having product buildup. Because the cuticles are so close together that whatever products are typically applied to the cuticle layer of the hair, it just sits there and then continues to build up and build up and build up. So this is why it is extremely important to make sure that you are understanding and choosing the right products, such as Allocate Natural Products, that match your hair porosity. Allocate Natural Products have natural ingredients, so we don't use silicone, so we're not gonna cause product buildup on your hair. So while silicones do add like that temporary effect of hair sheen, it does cause water resistance and causes a barrier on the cuticle. Again, causing it to be extremely um, difficult to absorb any moisture. Now, there is a plus side to having low porosity hair. Because low porosity hair is actually considered as the healthier hair. So it looks shiny and it actually looks a lot healthier. Now, the products and how to care for low porosity hair. Listen closely. Low porosity hair does great with deep conditioners that are especially rich in oils, glycerin, and honey. This is why we recommend our Allocay Naturals Honey and Sage Deep Conditioner as your weekly treatment. Also with low porosity hair, we recommend using, oh, it smells so good. We recommend using heat when you do your deep conditioning treatment. Heat helps to open up the cuticles of the hair shaft, allowing the product and moisture to be able to be absorbed better. Remember, low porosity hair's challenge is that the cuticle be enclosed, so that heat combined with the honey and sage deep conditioner, which is humectant based, that pulls the moisture from the air and locks it into the hair is going to have your hair feeling so much better. And since low porosity hair is also prone to product buildup, you need to make sure that you add a clarifier to your regimen. We recommend using the Allocay Naturals Moisturizing Black Soap Shampoo. This shampoo will get into the scalp and hair shaft to really clean it without stripping it of its natural oils, but it will remove any product buildup that your low porosity hair might be experiencing. Also, this applicator tip makes it easy to apply. Now, when washing your hair, I want you to use warm water to help open up the cuticle so whatever amazing Allocay Natural products you're going to use to cleanse your hair are able to get soaked in and absorbed into the hair properly. If the water is too hot, it will dry your hair out and cause your hair to lose moisture, so always use warm water. After washing and conditioning your hair, you want to use cool water to rinse your hair. The cool water helps your hair to say, hey cuticles, it's time to start closing down slowly, but if you use cold water, it would cause your cuticles to shut so fast that any lock method or moisturizing products you use after would not be able to be, um, penetrate the hair. So, to do the lock method on low porosity hair, be sure to layer your products in order of liquid, oil, and cream right after you rinse your hair and your hair cuticle is still open. Now it's important to select heavier moisturizers that contain ingredients such as shea butter. Now, a little bit goes a long way. So the perfect moisturizer for low porosity hair is a combination of either our shea yogurt hair moisturizer or our moisture rich hair parfait as well. 
Another example is that low porosity hair should use a lightweight leave-in conditioner. And of course, the perfect solution for that is our lemongrass leave-in conditioner. It's lightweight and liquid-based, so it's gonna help to open up the cuticle, and then you can apply a light oil. So we're starting with the lemongrass leave-in conditioner. Then you wanna use a light oil, but still something that's a little bit heavier than normal because low porosity hair is going to need the heavier oil. So I would recommend either the Shine Crave Hair Glosser or the Pomegranate Passion Hair Elixir, followed by your cream, which is either the Shea Ogre Hair Moisturizer or the Moisture Rich Hair Parfait. Remember, low porosity hair loves layers, but you don't need to use a lot. A little bit goes a long way, especially with super concentrated moisturizers like the ones that we have in our Allocate Naturals line. Lastly, when you have low porosity hair, the most important time to really do the lock method is when your hair is wet because wet, low porosity hair is the time that your hair is actually open to soaking in the moisturizing products. Now, you still should create some sort of midweek and daily moisturizing schedule to always keep your hair hydrated as well. medium porosity hair. Medium porosity in a lot of people's eyes is the ideal porosity to have mostly because it's the most common. Because it's easy to moisturize since your cuticles are not too wide open and they're open just enough. This hair type is less susceptible to extreme damage when you start to use certain treatments such as hair coloring because it is considered to be healthy. Now, you do want to make sure you're careful because using chemicals such as relaxers and color treatments can eventually turn your medium porosity hair into high porosity hair instead. Now, if you have medium porosity hair, you need to make sure that you still have some sort of cleansing routine, just like you would if you had low porosity hair. But it doesn't necessarily have to do with clarifying treatments as often, so you can use one week, you use the Moisturizing Black Soap Shampoo, followed by the Caribbean Coconut Milk Conditioner. And then the next week, you alternate using the Caribbean Coconut Milk Shampoo and the Caribbean Coconut Milk Conditioner. This way, you get a super, really good clarifying cleanser one week, and then the next week, it's a mild cleanser. So eventually, you will still get rid of any product buildup that your, that your hair may experience, but remember, medium porosity hair does not typically go through extreme product buildup as much as low porosity, unless you're using products filled with silicones, which means you must not be using Alake. Now, medium porosity hair should also do a weekly deep conditioning treatment, but protein is the key to medium porosity hair's health. So while you can definitely use the amazing Honey and Sage Deep Conditioner, we would recommend using our Avocado Cream Moisture Repairing Hair Mask Treatment. This is the perfect hair mask because it has protein, but not too much. So even if you have protein sensitivity, it's still safe to use. But think of it, it is a deep conditioning treatment that is going to be able to help re-moisturize and add back protein into the hair to give it that extra strength that it needs with being medium porosity. Now, about the lock method. If you have medium porosity hair and you're doing the lock method, we recommend using, of course, the lemongrass leave-in conditioner as your liquid, and really any of the oils from the Allocate Naturals line will work for you because your hair is not really dependent on an oil being heavy or light. So you can use the Shine Crave Hair Glosser, the Pomegranate Passion Hair Elixir, the Glazed Argan Oil Hair Silkener, or even the Lemongrass Lick and Shine Finishing Oil. But as far as hair butters, it's the same thing. All of our butters are safe for medium porosity hair. So you can use our Shea Ogre Hair Moisturizer, which is our heaviest but most moisturizing C for cream. You can use the Moisture Rich Hair Parfait, which is lighter than the Shea Yogurt, or you can use our super light lemongrass super twisting butter. And finally, 
high porosity. High porosity hair can be naturally porous. You're either born with high porosity hair or you could have been born with medium or low porosity hair that eventually turned to high porosity due to damage and exposure to things as mentioned before. Chemicals such as hair coloring or even relaxers or heat. High porosity hair is extremely susceptible to damage and has to be treated with extreme TLC as to not cause any additional frizz or breakage to happen. High porosity hair, while it is easy to moisturize because the cuticles are already open, it is also difficult to keep moisturized because your cuticles stay open. So you apply the product, you moisturize it, you're like, yay, it's soft, it's great. You wake up the next day, it's gone because your cuticles stay open so it causes the moisture to evaporate out of your hair just as quickly. So this is the biggest challenge with having high porosity hair. A lot of the customers and people that I've done hair porosity test on have high porosity hair and we've been able to come up with an allocate healthy hair regimen to solve it just like I hope to do for you. So and an awesome tip for high porosity hair is to do an apple cider vinegar rinse. All you have to do is take a bucket of warm water and one fourth of a cup of apple cider vinegar, not white vinegar. Apple cider vinegar is safer. Mix it and then you want to pour this over your head two to three times before you move on to your hair washing routine. Why? Because the slightly acidic nature of the apple cider vinegar, it actually helps to flatten and smooth the cuticle and helps it to seal the moisture in your hair. So it, it causes the cuticle to close, even if just for a couple of days. So it's kind of saying, hey cuticle, I need you to flatten yourself out. This also helps to reduce the frizz in your natural hair and increases the shine. Another way that you can do this is to actually just take a water spray bottle with warm water and also the same ratio of apple cider vinegar and mist it on your hair before you move on to your hair wash routine. This is a tip that's going to be extremely helpful and you will definitely after the first wash see the change in your hair. Now, with high porosity hair, it is important to have a protein treatment. So as far as cleansers and shampoos, you can use either of the Caribbean Coconut Milk Shampoo or the Moisturizing Black Soap Shampoo. But it is really important to use protein. Protein such as the Avocado Cream Moisture Repairing Hair Mask Treatment, although it is not a protein treatment, it contains protein that is going to help to strengthen the hair. So this is a bonus for helping to re-strengthen and temporarily fill those gaps and holes that are within the actual hair shaft from your damaged cuticles. I also suggest doing an actual protein treatment. Try to see if you can use one that is natural if possible. High porosity hair needs to also use probably a lot more layers of deep conditioner as well. So usually we tell people to lay it on light, but if you have high porosity hair, you might have to lay, lay on additional layers. And also do not forget to use the heat. As mentioned before, the heat opens up the cuticles and allow the products to get soaked in. Final thing is the lock method for high porosity hair. The lock method moisturizing system is not only an option for high porosity hair, it is legit mandatory. It's the only way that you're going to be able to lock the moisture into your hair. It doesn't matter how amazing the products are that you may be using. If you're just slapping on one layer, it is not going to be enough. So you have to add more layers so that your damaged cuticles can actually hold that moisture in. Once you start to moisturize high porosity hair the proper way, you guys, you'll start to see reduced dryness, reduced frizziness, and reduced hair breakage, and overall reduced frustration. So for high porosity hair, we recommend you use the lemongrass leave-in conditioner as the liquid, and use our heavier oils, such as the Shine Crave Hair Glosser and the Pomegranate Passion Hair Elixir. You can even use the Glazed Argan Oil Hair Silkener as well. And for cream, you really want to make sure that you are focusing on heavier creams. So our Shea Yogurt Hair Moisturizer or extra layers of our Lemongrass Super Twisting Butter, even though it's light, just putting on some extra or using the Moisture Rich Hair Parfait will be perfect. mind is 
that it is possible for someone to have multiple hair porosity types all over their head. The most important thing is to focus on building your regimen of what porosity you have in majority of your head. So some people, yes, they may have medium porosity hair, you know, or low porosity, and then the ends of their hair are high porosity. You tend to see this because then the ends of your hair tend to be like a lot frizzier and a lot drier. If that's the case, then you need to focus your regimen on the majority of your head, but keep in mind to give the ends of your hair, which are the oldest part of our hair, that extra love and attention that it needs. So whether it's applying an extra layer of a cream or applying an extra layer of an oil sealant to really lock the moisture in. All right, so before we go, let's do a check-in on my hair. All right, so although it's been five minutes, as you can see, my hair strand is still floating. Um, it has not been touched or altered in any way. And so what this proves to me is that I have low porosity hair, which is something I've known for a couple of years now, which makes it really easy for me to know exactly how to treat my hair and how to care for it using our Allocate products. So I know how to get my hair to be moisturized. So as you can see with low porosity hair, it has literally been submerged in water, you guys, for five minutes and it is not budging. Imagine, no matter how many products I layer on my hair, it cannot absorb moisture unless I find a way to penetrate it. So, all right, you guys, so that's it. Thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed learning everything that you need to about hair porosity. So I am super curious. I can't wait to see you guys doing your hair porosity test. Please make sure that you share it on social media using the hashtag Allocate Naturals and Allocate Educate so we can see. We'd love for you to share your results and we are super excited because at Allocate Naturals, we believe that it is extremely important to not only make sure that we are giving you quality natural products that are good for your hair, skin, and body, but we also wanna make sure we are educating you so you can be an educated, conscious consumer. Now, if you're looking for the products that were mentioned in this video, you can find them all right now at allocanaturals.com. And you can also find some of the products mentioned as well as some of your favorite retail stores such as Target, Walmart, CVS, Rite Aid, and Kroger. Check out the link below to find a store near you. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for watching our first episode of Allocate Educate. Hopefully, I made porosity fun. Listen, learning about natural hair, you guys, is fun, and I can't wait to come to you with a new episode. Leave a comment below and let me know what you would like for Allocate to educate you on next. All right, see you soon. Bye. Stay fabulous and natural. <laughs>